What's up, Gold Gang? Welcome back to my channel. We finna do some tarot in nature today. I hope you guys appreciate the scenery. I don't know about y'all, but I love being out here, and I love bringing y'all out here with me. If you new, welcome. This my name is Shay. This is Healing to Go to Roll. Nice of you to join the family. And if you're a returner, what's up, boo? Grab your drink, go get your popcorn, and then we finna see what's up with this energy. I'm gonna be doing this um reading for the water signs obviously i'm by the water so why not do water first and we're gonna see what spirit got to say i just heard love so maybe we're gonna be doing some love energy today i don't know what's gonna come out we just gonna see if you need any information as far as booking everything will be in the description box i also have two other channels feel free to subscribe to those same person same div divination different channel okay so first card we got out here is the page of pentacles at this time i feel like somebody's watching you family like i get the, the energy somebody may be watching you on the internet i'm getting like the energy of like a secret admirer. You could also be someone who does the venination with the page of pentacles here. You could even meet this person at your job. You probably knew this person got to train you or whatever. Show you the rigmarole of the job. This job could even require you to work outside. And then I got the emperor. So I got these two cards for another person, another reading. Like literally, and I'm shuffling these cards, no bullshit. Like the page of pentacles and the emperor. So I'm getting the energy of like photography. Somebody could be watching your pictures. Somebody could be watching you on the internet. Somebody could also be watching your readings. Now, this is a very masculine energy. This person is wise, very stable, dominant. This could also be an older person. But I feel like this person is very structured and stable. I feel like both... It's like... You could definitely be um, significantly... Maybe not significant, but I'm getting like 10 years younger than this person because the at first i got the page and the emperor that's like a really big age gap the page is like a child the emperor is an older person this person could want to bring some type of help into you this person could offer you some type of help towards your business like i feel like i'm talking to somebody who may read tarot or do some type of divination and you could be just starting out with this business but already there's somebody significant and big that notices you yeah with the king of pentacles here the king of pentacles is someone who's very generous look i can't make this shit up you got the king of pentacles that fell out with the page of swords at the bottom of the deck so somebody is definitely watching you investigating you trying to figure out who are you threes may be very significant in your life at this time i also have three masculine energies here on the board this person you and this person could also be star seeds. I'm getting like divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Now, to my masculines, I feel like um this is like a, this is not going to be for everybody because obviously everybody d don't like the same sex. But I'm getting heavy same sex energy here. But I got the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. These are two kings. Now, you could have two people watching you. Both of them are very stable and well. I One of them got more money than the other one. But I feel like um, whoever this is, whatever energy this is that's coming in for you, this person is going to be very gen gen generous. They're going to be emotionally stable. I feel like I'm hearing, like, happy tears. Like, you're going to be crying a lot, but it's because... Of happiness I'm, I'm getting the energy of someone who's being very grateful you go in the spirit telling tell the spirit that you're grateful like I'm getting just thank you I'm hearing somebody say thank you God thank you God thank you I'm also hearing thank you a lot so this person could be gifting you with a lot of things 
it's like they whining and dining you. And then I got the Empress at the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Spirit is saying, go. If you're afraid to take a leap on this person or you're afraid to say yes to this person, I'm hearing say yes. Say yes. I'm also getting the energy. Somebody may ask you your hand in marriage. Like, I feel like this relationship is going to take off really quickly. I'm getting in the water today, y'all. I don't give a fuck. I'm finna record till I can't record no more, and I'm getting in this water. You hear me? You might even meet somebody at a pool, at a beach. You could live around water, or you may go on some type of cruise if it can. This person could even take you on a boat. I feel like you don't see this coming, but it's, it, it definitely has been a distant dream of yours. You could have been somebody that's been in relationships that weren't very equal. I feel like this person is coming in, and they're going to put you up. They're the type of person, like, if you're working a 9 to 5, you're not going to have to work that 9 to 5 anymore. I definitely feel like you and this, this person is going to have some divine children as well. I'm getting a very structured, very stable. This person is very stable mentally emotionally financially i'm hearing the sex is going to be good it's going to be very liberating it's divine sex is what i'm hearing i'm also hearing yoni power i feel like this person is going to love you baby listen whether you masculine or energy somebody is going to love the shit out of you like this is kind of going to be overwhelming for you because you're not used to receiving this much love you could be somebody who being in relationships that weren't very equal and it's like you always was the one that put in the most effort you always was the one that showed the most love and i feel like spirit is telling you to embrace this don't don't be afraid because it's going to be new this is what you ask for don't self-sabotage this energy give me something else spirit Yeah, I got the Queen of Wands in reverse, and then the Nine of Wands want to fall out. I got the Moon card here, the World card here, and the, the High Priestess. I feel like Spirit is saying, with the World card here, that you and this person, are, uh, you, you guys could meet and travel. Something about communication being blocked between you two for a while. But I got the Nine of Wands and the Queen of ones upside down first of all that's 10 ones i feel like this person is dealing with their karmic this could be somebody who who is not quite out of a relationship that they've been in these pe two people are definitely opposite of each other i feel like this person i'm getting the, the energy of a feminine who went with this man for his money and his resources or vice versa this could have been somebody who use their charm to get what they want from this person. And th this person kind of fell for it because at the time they weren't, it's like they were ruled by the beauty of this person. Like whoever they're with is very beautiful. But I'm hearing like they got the mind, like I'm hearing dumb as a box of rocks. It's like they, they're not very intellectual. Like when when this per when they first met, this person used to be clean, very sexy, but they then they got comfortable and they stopped appreciating themselves. It's like they let themselves go. I feel like this person tried over and over and over to get it right with this person, but it's almost like they was being a dead horse. But they still stayed. This person, they could have been in a relationship for a while. I'm getting like five, seven, ten years. I'm picking up on new energy. I'm like, I'm picking up on energy where it's like, this is not something old. I feel like cycles are ending and new beginnings are coming for in for you, water signs. I almost just said Pisces. Excuse me. So this could be a Pisces that's coming in. Very stable. I'm going to take one more card and then I'm going to get up out of here. The four of wands. So whoever this person is, they could be in some sort, sort of situation. I'm hearing legal battle. 
they could be in some sort of situation with this karma that they with. This person could have also used um, magic on them or something like that. Used the venomation to keep them hell bound. I don't know why I just said hell bound. That ain't even what I meant to say. I meant to say binded and bound. It's like they stuck. But something was liberated. I feel like it has something to do with the transits. I also feel like this person is a star seed, so they have been protected. And I feel like the spells that this person were under, they weren't working. It's just that this person was in this situation to learn something. That's the reason spirit kept this person here. It was something that they needed to learn. But this was a beautiful read. Whoever this is is coming in for you, are, it's very stable. They want to put you up, baby. And don't be resistant. This might not even, this might catch you off guard. This person might not even be your type. It's not your typical type. But spirit is saying, give this person a chance. Like, and you won't regret it. I got a lot of ones out here. So I definitely feel like this is going to be a passionate relationship. This person could even want to marry you, man. I'm telling you, with the four, the four of ones out here, yeah. With the six of cups at the bottom of the deck and the lover's card. This person is going to be, look at this shit. You guys could have met each other in a past life. I feel like you guys, um, this was like a past life relationship with the Six of Cups here. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. And then I got the Six of Pentacles, the Lovers card, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. When I tell you this person is going to be like, you all mine, this person is going to be very selfish with you. And I'm getting like wine and dine. Like, I'm hearing make the right choice. Make the right choice. Do not push this person away. I feel like they coming in to upgrade your money as well. You went from the like I got the I got the six of pentacles here, the lovers card, the four of pentacles, six and four make ten pentacles, and then the ten of pentacles right behind it. Like you guys are definitely going to get married. This is home. This is generation. This is bloodline. This is wealth building some type of home together building wealth together this person wants to invest in you and they holding on tight they're gonna hold on tight or this gonna be you but it's like and they got that coin over their heart so you could be holding on to your heart guarding your heart open up this is your justice look at that the scales are being balanced for you i feel like this could be a twin this is your match, baby. Listen, enjoy this shit, man. Enjoy it. You could have been in Herman mode for a little while, whatever. But I really liked it, this reading, y'all. I fucked it with it. You know what I'm saying? If this reading helped you in any way, gave you some hope, you know what I'm saying? If you ran into this reading, it definitely was for you. So don't come thinking, oh, no, this ain't happening for me. Keep in mind, you manifest what you think. So if you think ain't nothing good going to happen for you, that's what you're going to manifest. And then you're going to be blaming God when you should be blaming yourself. But yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.